Hey everybody, David Coder with Decoder Marketing here with a quick uh, video tutorial on creating a sticky header the quick way. Uh, our last tutorial showed you a lot, a lot more steps, uh, a lot more code was involved. Uh, so we're going to show you here how to add the effects, uh, excuse me, the effects with three strips uh, that someone visits your website, they start to scroll, and those strips in the header will uh, transition from one to the other based on a switch point that we will put on the page and every page on the website. So what we're going to do is, um, I have a lot of this laid out already to make it very, very simple. The first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go up into our header. We're going to go to the settings. We're going to make sure that the header is set to freezes for when someone scrolls. Okay, that's step one. Step two, we're going to want to make sure that in the design we have no color set for the header. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our classic strips. So in here in the components folders, we're going to go down to our strip and we're going to add uh, three classic strips. Now you can add all three from here or what you can do is you can simply add the first one and then you can make sure that you got your toolbar set. You can copy and duplicate the other three strips right here in one place. Okay, so what we need to do now is that we have three strips added to this page. Okay, what we're going to do is this is our first strip, our large strip. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we turn on the uh, developer mode and we need to make sure we have our properties panel. So as soon as we turn that on, we're going to have our properties panel show. We had already labeled these. So we got the large header. We have relabeled this one to small header. And then this one is going to be the switch points. We labeled it header switch points. We're going to place this on every page in a particular area of where we're going to set the command to switch between the large header and the small header. Okay, So what we can do now is um, at this point we have all three strips. We have them labeled in our properties panel. Okay, What we're going to want to do is take our small strip and we're going to want to slide this into the header until it says attach to header. Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to want to click on hidden on load. Okay, so the small header, the first strip that you add to the header, we're going to select hidden on load. So then what we're going to do next is we're going to take our large header we're going to slide that into the header to where it says attach to header. Okay, nothing we need to do in the properties panel here. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to take our third strip and we're going to bring back toolbar here. There's two things we want to do here. Okay. One, the opacity and color, we want to change it to zero. So change the strip background, settings, opacity and color, slide that down to zero. Close the box. Then next, we're going to want to right click and we're going to want to set this switch point on every page. So we're going to select show on all pages. And because we don't need the strip to be this large, simply recommend just to go down to 10 pixels in height. Now you can slide this where you want the switch point to be. So you can bring it down a little bit if you'd like. Okay. Now, last thing we want to do is bring our site code box up. And we want to make sure that we are not on page. We want to make sure that we have 
the tab selected for site code. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this code. And I have created a blog post for this tutorial. So you'll be able to visit the blog link in this video below. And you can get over to our blog. And if you like to read the steps, you can read. If you like to watch, you can watch it as many times as you like. I'm going to simply paste the code in here on the site. Okay, and again, bring this up a little bit. Oops, sorry. So bring it up. And basically, what we're doing is the dollar W, selecting the element header switch point, which is this one here, and that's the on view port leave. So the second the customer or the visitor in this case decides to scroll on the leave, once it hits the switch point, those two strips in the header will switch. When the visitor scrolls back up into the viewport, enter, so we're going to have the header switch point. So when they scroll back up to the top, then we will go back to the large header. As you can see in the commands here, we have showing the small header when we're leaving this viewport and we have the large header shown when we enter this viewport. So what we can do at this point is we can click Save. I'll minimize this here for now. And we can preview our work. See how the effect looks. So now when we go to scroll, switches. Okay, logo, now we go back into the viewport and we show the large header again. Large strip, excuse me. So, a few things to note here. Uh, this strip here, we split into two columns. So we went into uh, edit the layout of this strip and we set it to two columns and then we made them a left read and a right read and we aligned far right and far left uh, if anyone is wondering uh, what we did there okay I do recommend that uh, when you are adding the logos the menus uh, we do it right from the the start I recommend labeling uh, the IDs of these elements so that way if you choose to do any more code in the future you already have those uh, property IDs labeled. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or concerns, something's not working, please comment below, and we'll get we'll get back to you with some solutions as soon as possible. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the videos in general that we post, uh, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit the bell uh, so we can notify you in the future of any new uh, videos that we have. Uh, I currently have about a stack of uh, 15 papers here of videos that I need to upload. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope it works out for you. And like I said, if you have any questions or concerns or something's not working, just drop a comment in the, the box below and I'll get back to you with a solution soon. Thank you and uh, enjoy the rest of your uh, weekend.